Alrighty guys, when I was a child, this was by far my favorite meal. I think it was my eighth video, um, I got a million views. So it went, it went, it went what, semi-viral. Um, and it was, you know, unbelievable. And I couldn't, 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 couldn't get my head around it. And yeah, I then saw my following started to take off. And then uh, by Christmas, I think I was on about 30,000 followers, um, which again, I was, which was pretty astounding. I was over the moon with that. Couldn't, couldn't believe it. And then in February, I hit a big viral video. And then since then, you know, it's, it's kind of been pretty crazy. Cover for 15 minutes and then it's time to serve. My, my recipes are not complicated. It's, it's pretty straightforward, the stuff that I'm doing. So I think when people are watching my videos, they actually think, oh, I could recreate that. Because there are times when, you know, I follow all these amazing chefs on, on TikTok and their food's incredible. But I think often to your average cook or home cook, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't probably, you might not have the confidence to recreate it at home. Spinach, rau chân vịt. Four eggs with green onions, bốn quả trứng với lại hành lá. Right on Christmas Day, I hit around like over 100K followers. And I can start to see the trajectory of my videos. Every time I post something, it, it my TikTok would just blow up. Um, and I could remember because I would wake up in the middle of the night and see like, what is going on? Why is my phone blowing up? And it was just like the massive amounts of following and the massive amount of people just talking about my videos. And as I kept on posting more videos, it kept on getting larger and larger. And um, I think it was around that point where I realized, all right, this is, um, I guess, there's a good following now. Just continue this on and uh, we'll see where it goes. How to make the call. One pound of pork butt instead of pork belly because pork butt is more lean. One of the things I think is really amazing about the pandemic is that what you're seeing is not the celebrity chefs anymore. The celebrity chefs are the people that are in their own kitchen and they're coming up with these hacks and I can tell you, I fold my tortilla sandwiches um, in a particular way. And so it's it's really amazing to watch people that just love food um, be able to reach the masses in a way that you used to only be able to do through the food network. Then once the chicken is cooked through, it's time to serve onto the board, freshly chopped parsley and Parmesan. And there you have it, the most delicious Tuscan chicken.